top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market prep video for February 2nd, 2021. Well, yesterday we saw a nice response by those bulls. They were The bulls were stepping up to defend Friday's lows, and they did a pretty good job of that yesterday. Now, this morning we're trying to push on through with another follow-through day that will test resistance levels above. So what does that mean for this morning's open? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink and let's dig into these technicals and see how we might want to approach the market for today with the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're getting some bullishness and bullishness is coming in um, from all over the place. We're seeing um, Asian markets closed bullish last night. European markets are bullish this morning. And Dow futures, uh, well, U.S. futures are pushing for an upside move today. And we're going to want to watch this pretty closely because when we take a look at our technicals in our chart, let's take a peek here. We're um, looking at that downtrend break here and notice that we're pushing up toward that downtrend break to test it as a price resistance level. And then also notice we have price resistance levels in this chart that we are going to attempt a test to see whether or not we can push on through. So looking at this morning's candle, as you can see, we're pushing right up here. We're breaking Friday's, um, Friday's open here to the upside at the uh, morning open. That puts us just a, a slightly bit above that little resistance there in the chart that puts us in that situation where we're going to have to be looking to here on that diamonds chart for that potential resistance and then keep in mind that we have this little bit of a downtrend that is still yet forming so all of these things are kind of lining up right in the same area, pointing to some price resistance in the Dow that we're going to have to be watching pretty closely as we press up there. Can we actually push on through? That'll be an interesting uh, question to be answered today. And particularly with such a massive round of earnings today that and, and really market moving earnings today, could be relatively interesting. So let's take a look at um, the SPY. And by the way, this is um, a recovery back above the 50-day moving average. Now, we can have a recovery back above a 50-day moving average and still have that pattern that we talk about um, in hit run candlesticks right way options the blue ice failure that rally back up there now remember on the gap up open it's going to be important that we see actually see some follow through buying if we run into this price resistance up here and in on the intraday turn around and pull back that could be a problem for us and we're going to want to focus on that pretty carefully we don't want to see a candle like this formed on the day so let's see those bulls actually push through and follow through let's see if they've got the strength to do that um, we we'll want to take a look at the spy now spy has done a better job um, as you can see we we held that 50-day moving average and yesterday's uh, bullish move yesterday was stronger in the SPY as well. If we take a look at this and really focus in on um, our trends and price resistance levels, notice that we're pushing back up to test the resistance of that downtrend break this morning. Remember, this is the pre-market candle. Um, that's trying to form. So we're trying to get that gap up this morning. And then let's recognize that we have some price resistance right through this area, kind of a zone in here that we're going to have to be watching fairly closely as we press up in here. The question to be answered, can we push on through? Can we break back above that level and then prove to hold it? Um, once again, the last thing we're going to want to see is a, ba um, a bang on our head into that resistance and then see sellers um, coming back on. This is right where we could see the defense of the uh, bears come into play. So make sure you're staying focused and prepared for that possibility. Then let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues held up really, really well and responded nicely yesterday. 
So although we have just a little bit of price resistance up here, notice that overall we held on to trend here in uh, the NASDAQ and we held above this level of price support. Today we have some big tech reports. We have Google, we have Amazon reporting after the bell today. Remember the last time we had some of those big tech reports, Apple, um, those kind of things, we saw a pop up and then a pullback in response to those earnings reports. Let's hope that doesn't occur today as we push back up here and we test some resistance levels right here in the chart. Now this is a, a very light resistance level in the chart, but we're gapping up into that area. So watch that carefully, depending on how these earnings results turn out, will we be able to push on through? That's the question. Then we also have to deal with that possibility. If we can push on through, could this potentially be um, a, hitting that top up there and creating that double top? So just kind of stay on your toes here, stay focused. We could see um, that volatile price action create lots of humps and bumps in this market, so be pretty careful. And then if we look at IWM, now IWM held up um, remarkably well and continuing to show strength this morning pushing up through here, but we are going to be challenging that um, trend break right here as a price resistance level. And there is a little bit of price resistance right through here in the chart that we're going to be trying to, kind of a zone that we'll wanna be watching as we rally back up. If we push back up in here and we're to fail, that would be a problem. So keep a close eye on that today. And with some big oil reporting today, that will be an interesting uh, chart to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, I got to tell you, still provides some major concern here for the market and still points to that possibility of some really wild volatility. Notice that we closed the VIX here above 30 handles. Now you would think that as we're pushing back up, um, uh, even having the NASDAQ maybe pushing back up toward those record highs, we would see the VIX pulling back more and we're just not getting that. So there is a considerable amount of fear that still exists in the market. That's making option prices crazy right now. It's uh, making bid-ass spreads very, very dangerous in that option world. So kind of keep a close eye on this. And like I've said before, we don't have any problem here if we see that VIX push back down and break back down below that that little um, trend break here. We wanna see it push back down. If, however, we find a higher low here and we see those bears re-engage, we could have a major problem here with fear spiking up. So keep a close eye on that as we hopefully will pull back and, and maybe uh, move on down, breaking through some levels of price support here in this chart, we wanna see us dropping down through there and confirming that fear is starting to drop out of this market. We'll wanna watch and see. Then if we take a look at T2122, T2122 um, is indicating a, we touched down here in our bullish reversal zone and we did get that big bounce. And now with this morning's big bounce, I want you to notice the fact that we could actually be opening right back up here in the um, bearish reversal zone today. Um, that means we have whipsawed here pretty darn hard. And with resistance levels still above, it's gonna be really important how we deal with those resistance levels. If we pop back up here into this um, overbought bounce, we could certainly see those bears defend up here in those levels and start that uh, push back down, so watch that closely. And then if we take a look at that T2101, the absolute market breadth, I'm gonna go to um, just a standard candlestick chart here. And I wanna point out in that absolute breadth that even though we were rallying strongly yesterday, notice that the participation started to fade here. We did move higher and that is a good sign, but that participation started to fail here. And unfortunately, we're approaching that downtrend area here in the on that market breadth. And it's going to be another one of those clues that we're wanting 
going to have to focus on as we're gapping up this morning in the market and we're hitting price resistance levels. Will we see some actual buying surging beyond that market breadth, surging beyond um, that resistance level in the chart? Or are we going to once again, as we approach those resistance levels, see that bullish wave kind of fade and um, well, something to pay attention to. Well, we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. And then if we take a look at our economic calendar for today, our economic calendar, we've got a really light day on that with not much going on here. But what we do want to make note of is for the rest of the week, we could have a substantial number of reports to uh, pay attention to. Notice right in here, we've got motor vehicle sales um, this morning and then we've got Fed speakers today. So not much going on there and I suspect we won't learn much new there on those reports. However, we are going to need to really pay attention um, as we move forward here because we're gonna start into this um, uh, first part of the week jobs um, number, um, uh, well, just a big diet of jobs numbers. Let's just say that. We've got the ADP on Wednesday. And of course, remember, we're going to have Google and Amazon reporting after the bell here today. And so anything is possible tomorrow morning, depending on how those reports come out. And then we're going to hop into these jobs numbers with ADP. We've got jobless claims coming in on Thursday and then that big employment situation number on Friday. So don't be surprised if we get just a little bit of pause or hesitation as we go through some of these numbers waiting on that Friday number. So watch that closely. That's going to add that complication as we test some of those resistance levels in the indexes. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is chock full of information today. I can't cover everything this morning um, that's coming up in earnings, but what you'll want to do is click that link just below the title of this video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and I've got uh, notes in there on the um, major or the market moving stocks that you might want to be paying attention to, those that are notable for today. Um, one that will um, let's take a look at Baba this morning. Baba reporting this morning and notice that we're pushing up into a price resistance level here on this chart and we're trying to hold some price support in this chart. This is going to be kind of an interesting report. You can see in the pre-market we've been bouncing around here quite a bit but the bulls are trying to take a hold in that pre-market candle trying to push on through so watch that closely. Kind of a dangerous little chart um, as we approach that resistance that possibility that we could, as we've seen so many times, push up in here and fail. We want to see that actually push through and hold for that upside move, start to maintain that upside trend. So keep an eye on BABA. And then after the bell today, we're going to hear from Google, Alphabet, um, we're going to hear from them. And we're surging um, in the this price action into that earnings report. Boy, be really, really careful here. Anything is possible. We saw how we responded to some of those big tech earnings re before. They reported um, quite strongly, but then we still saw selling coming in after those reports. So watch that closely and let's recognize that we're pushing up here into price resistance as we head into that report here after the bell. We also saw yesterday Amazon getting a strong response heading into earnings. This has been dealing with an interesting uh, pattern here. We've been wedging in this price action and yesterday trying to push through this level up here and we're trying to push on through this morning. Again, be really, really careful. Amazon has that ability to move hard and fast um, after those earnings were reports. So keep an eye on that. A couple other earnings um, I'll mention this morning that we might want to keep an eye on. Take a look at EA. EA will be reporting today. Uh, these gaming stocks have done extremely well um, with uh, COVID. And so let's keep an eye on that as we push back up here and we're testing, as you can see, this resistance high 
right through here as we head into that earnings report. That will be interesting to see. And then we've got some big oil reporting today, and that could have a major effect on that IWM um, index today. Take a look. We've got BP reporting. Looks like it's moving lower. We've got ConocoPhillips reporting. Looks like it's trying to move higher on its report. We're also going to hear from um, ExxonMobil today. Looks like Exxon is trying to move up just slightly here this morning. So some of those uh, big oil reports uh, could move us around a little bit. We'll want to keep an eye on those. And last but not least, we're going to hear from UPS. That will be an interesting report. Looks like we're moving higher this morning, but all, albeit we're still in a downtrend here on this uh, chart on UPS with some resistance above. So we'll see how that performs as the day goes on. And we're even going to hear from Harley Davidson today. So keep a close eye. There's a lot of market moving reports. Looks like Harley has missed uh, this morning and looking lower. So lots of volatility and um, with the Reddit community out there still, you know, kicking sand in the face of the market, we still have um, lots of volatility and it's showing up in that VIX. So anything is possible. And remember, as we head into the uh, close today, those big tech reports could mean a big gap up tomorrow, could mean a big gap down tomorrow. So make sure you're thinking about your risk carefully as you head into uh, the afternoon. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel these videos are worthy, please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow. And please always feel free to share this video or any of the videos on the channel um, on your social media platform. It helps us continue to grow, to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. We're going to want to watch some of these closely as we are pushing around um, in these charts. One of the things I'll, I'll point out is we have a lot of charts that are um, rallying up, but notice that we're rallying up into price resistance levels. So as as we push up here in these charts, we're going to have to be pretty careful as we push up into resistance levels and downtrends in those charts, those possible failure points that could still come into play. And there's a lot of those charts out there, and I mean a lot of those charts, as we push back up testing some resistance levels whether or not we're going to be able to push through and just keeping in mind that we broke these trends, that possibility that if we were to fail up here, we begin that lower high or put in that lower high for those potential downtrends. And there's a lot of these charts out there pushing resistance levels. So keep a close eye on that. Um, beyond that, um, take a look at stocks like NKLA. NKLA continues to try and set up. This is a nice little charting pattern, albeit a very volatile stock. Notice that NKLA pushing up in this nice trend, looking uh, very good. And now we've pulled back substantially and notice how we're kind of resting right in here. Watch for that next opportunity for this to pop on through and move to the upside. Pretty nice looking chart overall. Take a look at JMIA. JMIA was actually a chart brought to um, the right way options by one of the members. Um, and this is a nice bullish chart. Notice that we're breaking out of a major resistance here, um, record highs in this chart, and pushing on through. So I placed an alert here, and you can see we're trying to push on through that this morning. Watch that closely. And don't be too surprised if this still needs to rest. Even pushing through, we may still pull back and rest coming over to this trend. So watch that carefully. But JMIA, nice looking chart overall. Take a look at STX. Now, STX has had some substantial volatility here recently and if I were to take this trend line extend this on up although we had this um, push down below this trend in here we're still holding up very very well and notice breaking through some major resistance in the chart overall 
take a look that we spiked up here hard and now we're pulling back in this resting pullback. Now I still suspect this may need some time. Usually we don't see a stock pullback like this and then just rebound directly higher. We will typically see a little bit more rest or even more of a pullback into the trend before this moves up. But STX has been looking pretty good and I'd keep a close eye on that. I had a comment yesterday about um, cannabis stocks and um, the comment was um, apparently um, um, I don't have a problem with cannabis stocks and honestly I, I, I gotta tell you the world has changed and um, it just seems very odd to me that suddenly everything that was once illegal is now okay. So I, I feel that same sentiment that a lot of folks do um, on these stocks. But let's just take a look at the trends here. Um, these are very, very strong. And um, my job as a trader is to make money, not to pass judgment on what's being traded. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on these. And you can see MJ here. This is a, a cannabis ETF holding up quite well, quite strong, and may actually start to push on out. So watch that closely. Um, I understand those reservations out there. It just seems like an odd situation where everything that was illegal is now okay. Um, uh, think about it. You almost have to go to a black market to buy an incandescent light bulb, but we're going to be able to walk into probably any drugstore soon and buy cannabis. So kind of a, the world has changed um, and um, we're going to have to um, respond to that change. So watch that carefully. Take a look at NNDM. NNDM, a very nice looking chart. Um, we've been in a beautiful upside rally, nice little resting consolidation move. And keep an eye on this you can see i've placed an alert in this chart i'm going to be watching this for that possibility of this pushing on through extending continue to extend uh, to the upside so watch that close take a look at n I O now N I O has been resting. Notice that this consolidation um, in this move has slid now over to this trend, and notice that we've tightened up in that consolidation. So I'm watching this um, stock pretty closely for that next possibility that this can push on through. Obviously, obviously those electric vehicles have done very very well in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Pretty interesting chart one to uh, pay attention to. Um, last but not least, I want to continue to, um, I, I hold silver in a long-term portfolio and we had the Reddit community making an attack on this, pushing it up strongly yesterday. But now we're pulling back pretty strongly along with, uh, you know, the the GameStop and AMC and stuff like that. I don't know how much longer these kind of attacks will continue, but we'll want to um, watch this closely as silver backs up. This is still a um, a relatively bullish pattern. You can see a lot of volatility in here, but if we can hold some price supports in this chart and rest, um, I think with the possibility of more money printing coming into play, um, silver overall has a pretty good upside potential. So keep a close eye on that um, as we settle out some of this uh, wild volatility. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Everyone take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early on Wednesday morning. Remember, lots of um, market mo moving reports after the bell. Plan your risk carefully. Talk to you soon, everyone.